hello everyone and in this video i'm going to show you like how to fix the main problems that most players face while playing valorant which are the in-game lags the screen tearing issues the sudden fps drop while shooting an enemy first one will be to go to the settings of the game and to go to the video and now follow the steps okay so if you're using a 75 hertz monitor like me Lock the FPS to 75. It is a 60 Hz monitor, lock it to 60. It's 144, lock it to 144. What this does is it actually um, saves your CPU from using uh, way too much power to get more FPS in regards because you, if your monitor can show anything above 75, you don't need those extra FPS. And something that I feel is faced personally is that the FPS, the higher FPS, doesn't actually make any difference. So locking it to 75 is pretty good so since mine is 75 hertz i lock it to 75 and the display mode should be full screen and 1080p and then aspect read letter box so now up to the graphics quality i keep my material quality to, quality to low because during game the material quality doesn't make much of a difference i keep the texture detail and ui to medium because this actually makes the game look a pretty neat or more pretty so I keep it at medium so I keep Vignet off because I really have no idea what Vignet actually does but I al always keep my V-Sync on because if I don't have the V-Sync on there is a slightly screen tearing issue which shows in game and uh, while I'm picking corners the corners edges um, get screen teared so I keep the V-Sync on and for the other settings i just copy this because um, by testing and experimenting different layouts and settings these prove to be the one which worked the most and i keep on bloom on because of skins and yeah it just makes it look way more pretty that's it now for the second tip you need to while you're playing the game you need to go to task manager <coughs> And after going to task manager, you need to close out every single thing that you're not using. So sometimes the radiant software keeps working in the background, so I close that. I close um, any other uh, Google Chrome or any other software or Steam game loop, which I don't need. This actually limits your PC from using. So the thing that I did next was the main thing which probably needed to be done in order to solve this entire issue. So first go to your settings. then go to gaming and in gaming you need to turn off xbox game bar go to captures turn off every single thing that is on over here what this does is that the xbox game bar runs in the background while you're playing the game when it records in the entire game video so Doing this actually takes a lot of your CPU power by the Xbox Game Bar, which you know uh, contributes to the part where the game lags and if this drops. So, also you need the Windows 2004 version for this to work. So, update your PC and uh, Windows and any update that comes. 